The symbolism of the caterpillar, chrysalis and butterfly. The symbolism of the egg, the caterpillar, its chrysalis and the final butterfly, which then lays more eggs, has to be treated as a whole. There are also symbolic links to the leaf. This cycle represents the spiritual evolution of a person, a person's spiritual progress, perhaps over many cycles of reincarnation. Ralph Waldo Emerson, The Oversoul The soul's advances are made by ascension of state, such as can be represented by metamorphoses, from the egg to the caterpillar, from the caterpillar to the butterfly. The Caterpillar The caterpillar, being somewhat formless and with no shell, symbolises the immortal soul, the higher spirit and Atman, the divine within us. The caterpillar stage can symbolically represent the time between lives and a new incarnation, what some may call death, but which mystics simply regard as a formless state. The caterpillar can also be found on leaves the symbolic leaves of the tree of life. Briha Daranyaka Upanishad When a caterpillar has come to the end of a blade of grass, it reaches out to another blade and draws itself over to it. In the same way, the Atman, having come to the end of one life, reaches out to another body and draws itself over to it. A goldsmith takes an old ornament and fashions it into a new and more beautiful one. In the same way, the Atman, as it leaves one body, looks for a new body, which is more beautiful. The Atman is divine, but through ignorance people often identify the Atman with the mind, the senses and the emotions. Some people even identify the Atman with the elements of earth, water, air and fire. As people act, so they become. If their actions are good, they become good. If their actions are bad, they become bad. Good deeds purify those who perform them. Bad deeds pollute those who perform them. Thus we may say we are what we desire. Our will springs from our desires, our actions spring from our will, and what we are springs from our actions. We may conclude, therefore, that the state of our desires at the time of death determines our next life. Cocoons and the Chrysalis At the Chrysalis stage, the immortal soul, higher spirit, Atman, etc., becomes entrapped in a cocoon, our body. A similar symbol used with similar meaning is that of swaddling clothes. We are trapped first and foremost by the limitations of our five senses, but also by our gradual loss of curiosity and our obsession with intellect. From Walter de la Mare, Rupert Brooke and the Intellectual Imagination Children are, in a sense, butterflies. 
though they toil with an almost inconceivable assiduity after life's scanty pollen and nectar. And though, by a curious inversion of the processes of nature, they may become the half comatose and purblind chrysalides, which too many of us poor mature creatures so ruefully resemble. They are not bound in by their groping senses. I'm afraid you cannot understand it, dear, exclaimed a long-suffering mother at the end of her resources. Oh yes, I can very well, was her little boy's reply. If only you would not explain. We are also trapped by the personality given us, as implied below, by reference to the stars, the signs of the zodiac. Jocelyn Godwin We are like caterpillars until we let ourselves be entranced and enwrapped by the music which has its origin in the starry spheres, the silken harp strings of the stars. Then we await the moment, whether in trance or at death, when our cocoons will fall away and we will awaken a winged soul who can fly back to our treehouse of light. So spiritual experience will help us to metamorphose to a butterfly. Otherwise, we must wait until death. The chrysalis, the thread, and the cord. Our minds have both inputs and outputs coming from and going to the spiritual world. In effect, we are connected to the external spiritual world by a sort of conduit. Spirit input comes to us as intuition, wisdom, inspiration, etc. Spirit output comes from us as we think and is symbolically described using thread, ropes, cords, string, and so on. Spiritual progress is then symbolically achieved in one of three ways. Wings? Those with wings are naturally able to fly or ascend. Ladders, chains and stairs, those with steps of some sort are on the stages of the spiritual path. Ropes and thread, etc. Others just hang there by a thread. And when the thread is cut, the personality used on this life dies and we revert to spirit again. In other words, those who make no spiritual progress die a chrysalis and never get the chance to experience what it is like to be a living butterfly. Faust, part two, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Gladly we now receive this spirit chrysalis, thereby we shall achieve pledge of the angel bliss, loosen the thread of earth that still impede him, transfigured to new birth, we shall soon lead him. Butterfly A butterfly in mystic symbolism is thus an immortal soul, higher spirit or atman, that has been able in life to break free from its prison of sensory restrictions, break free from the personality and learn to know itself, and thereby has gained a fleeting temporary set of wings and body and uses them to experience heaven on earth. A mystic. From the Fairy Faith in Celtic Countries by W. Y. Evans Vence. The higher spirit, soul monad, of Atman, to follow the view held by Celtic mystics, apparently weaves out of matter 
the body unit adapted to its further evolution, in a way analogous to that in which a silkworm is led by acquired instincts to weave a cocoon. Celtic esoteric doctrine does not conceive a personal immortality, but a greater kind of immortality, the immortality of that same higher spirit soul monada atman, which gives unity to each temporary personality it makes use of, the mask. And this individuality is the bearer of all evolutionary gains made in each temporary personality through which it reflects itself. It is the permanent evolving principle. Psyche. And finally, in early Greek art, Psyche, the Greek goddess, was represented as a butterfly. Psyche by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. The butterfly the ancient Grecians made, the soul's fair emblem, and its only name, but of the soul escape the slavish trade of mortal life. For in this earthly frame, ours is the reptile's lot. Much toil, much blame, manifold motions making little speed, and to deform and kill the things whereon we feed. Mm.